everyone, Thornton here, and it is Season 20 in Apex Legends, and there seems to be more lore dropping very soon after we got the Revenant Loba story conclusion. There's new stuff with Horizon and many more Legends, and the big question on everyone's mind is, when is this game going to get a god dang Netflix series? Or, you know, really any kind of series. So today, we're going to go over what the latest is, and will we ever actually get one, or is it just going to stay in-game and in-universe? And we're also going to go ahead and give out some of the anniversary shards. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's talk about today's topic. So something that Apex Legends Legends has always had a long history of and been pretty successful at for the most part compared to at least other battle royales is their lore. Don't get me started on Fortnite. I have no idea what's going on in that game, but at least Apex Legends, well convoluted at times, fits well into the Titanfall universe and I can get a good understanding of what's going on. And recently they've been doing a fantastic job of closing up some storylines. You might remember back in 2023, we got the first ever Loba single player campaign mission. That's kind of what I would call it. Featuring Valkyrie where you actually ran around a facility looking for Revenant's head. Now, it was pretty basic. There's not like any enemies to fight or anything like that. There is a little bit of platforming and just kind of figuring out puzzle mechanics in it, but I do want to applaud them as this was the first time that Respawn had actually ever tried something like this, at least in a multiplayer live service battle royale, and I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. And it finally concluded, or at least I think it concluded, with an LTM that came to the game where you escape on a dropship with Loba. It seems like Loba kills Revenant and she's like, yeah, I finally did it. And then another Revenant kind of of, you know, appears at the end, signifying, no, this isn't actually the end. And so, yeah, there might be more Loba and Revenant lore in the near future. It did lead to our brand new character of Revenant Reborn, but it does seem like that chapter is closed right now, at least for the foreseeable future. Now, we actually do have confirmation. We saw this in a trailer not too long ago where Horizon is staring at the Time Gauntlet. If you've never seen this before, it's from Titanfall 2. Jack Cooper uses it to traverse an installation, and he's able to go in and out of time to when it's destroyed slash not destroyed. Overall, it's a very cool mechanical piece and part of the game's lore. And now, this is very interesting because Horizon's son, she has been trying to get back to Newton since she was introduced in the game. There's like a lot of lore, you can watch a ton of videos on it, but Ashley Reed slash Ash and Horizon, they don't get along. They're not very good. Turns out, Ash kind of sent Horizon through a black hole 300 years in the future, and she's never gonna get to see her kid again. And then Ash ended up getting killed by Jack Cooper as a simulacrum and then being brought back in the Apex games. Remember that part where I said the lore is very convoluted? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, logically, I follow the game so I get an understanding, but anyone watching for the first time is probably like, what, what? But anyways, we do actually know from one of the lead writers at Respawn, Ashley Reed, yes, she did name the character Ash after herself or someone did, that the tease time gauntlet in the season 20 trailer is going to be a part of season 20's overarching storyline, even though that hasn't started yet or we haven't seen it quite yet. You're on the right track. I think you saw it retold GameSpot after they asked her about the gauntlet in the trailer. She also gave us a ton of hints about the Revenant and Lobo lore. And there was some other information, such as the fact that Reed further revealed in the interview that Horizon will not only be the center of this game's narrative arc, Ash will potentially be part of it as well, which makes sense. We had Revenant and Loba last time, now we're getting Horizon and Ash, and possibly her son, Newt. Now, in addition to this, someone actually compiled a lot of the things that are combined, and this is what we kind of get. Horizon's promise to reunite with her son was highlighted in the Season 20 trailer, we just went over that. Newton was never found after being presumed dead, leaving the possibility of him still being alive. Stranger things have happened in the Outlands. If you're confused on what that could possibly be, you probably haven't watched this video where Ash's head was found underneath King's Canyon. And Horizon has been humming a lullaby in Season 19, implying that she's thinking of her son. This was a new Easter egg recently added. Also, Ash hinted in Season 10 that she knew what happened to Newton, but never elaborated. And we know how Apex Legends likes to take a about 14 seasons to finally get to the end of the story. What does that have to do with a TV show? Well, there's a couple of things. If you go back far enough about three years ago, and this is actually around the time Horizon was introduced, Ryan Rigney, who is the director of comms for Respawn, was asked about the possibility of a TV show for either Netflix or Amazon ever in the future. And he said, yee, and then also zipped emoji saying that there was some kind of NDA. Now, obviously we haven't really heard too much about it since then. There was a user slash fan that actually made the arcane intro from League of Legends, but he made it for Apex Legends instead, and one of the devs responded, I have some conversations to follow up come January, which once again got the hype very high about this series eventually coming. And they've been very hush-hush and quiet about it. I did hear some stuff about the voice actors being at Warner Brothers for some kind of voice acting thing, but it had been put on delay. We do know that Horizon, with the Titanfall connection with Ash, 
and a new district map coming next season, which is supposedly when it's coming. Once again, we never have official details on the dates of leaked information, but there has been stuff found in the game files, and it's supposed to be Titanfall 2 themed. Makes me think that this is probably going to happen sooner than later. I mean, Respawn has dabbled in its own visual media. They have the Apex Legends stories from the Outlands, which, funny enough, actually has its own IMDb page, which I think is pretty cool. And Andrew Wilson did give us some information. He's the CEO of EA, and he's actually kind of leaked things in the past, like the collab events. Or at least not leaked, but gave us enough insight to know that this stuff is coming. He said he was optimistic for core offerings like The Sims, Apex Legends, and Battlefield to have a group of blockbuster storytelling efforts like Dragon Age and the companies based on Marvels and Star Wars. Now, Dragon Age actually recently got a TV show on Netflix, in case anyone missed it. It wasn't very much talked about, but if Dragon Age is getting a TV show, I'd be very surprised if EA wasn't looking at Apex Legends, especially as he thinks the combination of existing live service growth, some new product offerings in the context of blockbuster storytelling, and how we reinvent blockbuster storytelling for the new audience is incredibly important for their growth in the long term, which is what EA is all about. He's actually directly said in this quote right here that he wants games like The Sims, Apex, and Battlefield to spawn universe and ecosystems in the same way Star Wars and Marvel have. And Star Wars and Marvel, while also having video game properties, are primarily known for their visual media storytelling. I mean, Apex Legends has dabbled in comics like Marvel, although they did a Dark Horse comic, and I mean, let's be honest, look at the art there. That thing lasted like a year and then got canned so hard, it just wasn't very good. But I think they're finally working their way over to to having a TV show that could finally work. Collabs, I believe, were just the start of all their brand new pop cultural references with the Final Fantasy event, and we could finally be looking forward to a Star Wars one in the near future. Let me know down below, what do you guys think about a Netflix or any other kind of series for Apex Legends, or do you think that the lore has gotten kind of convoluted and all over the place, that it may not actually work out as good as we all kind of want it to? Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here, where I cover everything that you guys need to know about any kind of video games, from Pal World, Helldivers 2, Halo Infinite, The Finals, so many more, and it's a great way to support me and my other channels. And until next time, everyone, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.